Hello everyone, I'm Silver Raptor and welcome to another War Game Red Dragon deck creation video where you guys suggest decks for me to build and I go about and build them live. So for this next episode, we are actually going to be creating an Israeli armored deck. So uh, that's actually a pretty decent deck. Uh, Israel is known for their good tanks and uh, I look forward to making it. So let's get started we're going to put in the israel well first let's get the israel nation there we go israel armored and we'll call it the second armor division there we go okay let's get it um so they don't have a whole lot in the logistics tab. Uh, let's see. Um, we're gonna need a fob. Uh, ooh, a Merkava one because I think it is absolutely mandatory that we get what uh, a card stack of these because uh, a tank CV and an armored deck. Why would you not do that, right? Am I right? I'm right. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um. We need to have, um, this, we're going to need another backup CV, so I'm just going to get these guys, because these guys are so heavily armored, 10 front, 6 side, 5 back, 2 top armor. We are going to, uh, interesting, I think we're actually just going to get an Oshkosh stack, probably going to get a second one. Uh, yeah, let's get a second one. Uh, and then go to the infantry tab. Now, infantry, we are going to need to get some AA. That's for damn sure. Uh, I think we can actually afford to get 14 of these that are all hardened up so that the Stinger missiles can hit because the Stinger, the Stinger A missile, not the Stinger C. Uh, we could get 80 GMs, but what else do we have? Um, we can get frag grenades. That's interesting. Uh, let's see, what's this militia? Ooh, these are actually not too bad for militia. And I'm considering it because we need to basically defend with our tanks. And let's just look at these Roviets, uh, Mer with these Merkava 2As, Merkava 2As, these are 100 points, yikes. Alright, so what's the difference between the Roviet and the Roviet 90? Not point cost, that's for sure. The Roviets are more accurate and have a higher rate of fire, whereas the Roviet 90s have a higher AP power. That's actually interesting. The militia have higher AP power over the Roviets, so ooh, idea ideas are coming. All right, uh, just double check on this. Um, right. So this is going to be my crazy, crazy idea. We are going to get. Oh, these are 100 points each. We need to think of this, okay, we need to think of this as a tank. This is going to be our tank section for the armor division. So, how good is the tank? It's pretty good. With 18 front armor, 100 points. That's definitely going to be a worthwhile tank, especially with the infantry here. So, I don't need to worry about the AP power for this. I am going to get two hardened Roviets. For with these Merkava 2A, so that these are going to be our extra tank infantry, and then we are going to actually get 35 of the militia in this deck because these are going to be our cannon fodder. I'm sorry to say this, but you guys are going to be in the front of our tanks taking most of the shots, and uh, these guys are going to back you guys up with the where the infantry, with these tanks. So this is this is our plan so far. Uh, we don't really need these spike missiles um, as much because we're going to get lots of uh, AP in the future. 
All right, so we're going to definitely need very, very good AA. First thing we're going to get are mech bets. That is a must. This is also a must, the Dracons. Um, and I am going to get two cards of these hardened because we're going to need to have these hit. When the Dracons first came out, these were 2650 range, uh, I believe. And um, that made Israel virtually completely countered by the Soviets. All the Soviets had to do was to get a KA-52 and an MI-28, and they basically destroy any Israel deck ever with just those two helicopters, uh, because all the other uh, radar AA couldn't intercept uh uh, the MI-28 to the fact that K-52 was over. But now that this can actually intercept uh, helicopters with the infrared, this thing is definitely uh, puts Israel back into the fight. Uh, let's see. So we've got mortars. We could definitely use the mortars. Uh, we've got napalm. Napalm would be really good in an armored deck we've got some nice artillery uh, okay we can get four um, okay so I'm kind of torn here uh, the main reason is is that yes the Shinav 2s are better and they can take out helicopters pretty damn good the problem is we can only get four of them and I do definitely want to get some mortars minimum to uh, provide smoke because tanks are going to need smoke if they cross open areas so i am actually going to go and get regular shinavs because they're they only have five percent less accuracy than the shinav 2 yeah i'll just call this back up they have five percent less accuracy that's it uh and that doesn't detour their effects on planes and these are what these are probably going to be used for is to take out planes. Whereas Mr. Dracon and the Macbet, we already have plenty anti helicopter support in this already. Now, um, uh, nothing can do smoke with your rocket artillery. Uh, this is a funny artillery piece. Pretty damn armored as well. Uh, this actually could probably take a few counter artillery shots itself. Um, uh, but what should we do? The Mac Mat 6 HE power is pretty damn good, but, uh, I think we're actually going to get the Lash, because we need that smoke, and we need to be able to disperse it a lot. So, we're going to get the Lash there. Um, going to put the mech bet on this side so everything looks pretty okay good now the tank section everyone's anticipation so we are definitely going to get the Merkava 3d baths the only blue four nation tank with an ATGM weapon the red four nations no longer uh, hold a monopoly with that field so we're going to get two of those because this is a pretty nice tank with 22 front armor. The problem is the Merkava series have pretty poor side armor. So you need to watch out for side shots with that. Other tanks can sometimes have pretty decent, especially the super heavies. Um, Merkava, and then also this, 7 side armor for the Merkava 3B. But the Merkava 3B we definitely going to want to have. You could actually put this chest out front of Forest pretty damn close to Forest actually. Because it could take an RPG or two to the front and these grenade launches will definitely wreck face now we need to start figuring out about our tag so, so we've got the max 7c gimmel and the merkava 2b now the merkava 2b is comparable to the merkava 2a that carries our infantry so we need to remember we have a hundred point tank so we are really actually comparing the max 7c gimmel to the merkava 2a and it has a faster rate of fire and it's got a slightly longer gun whereas the Merkava 2A does not. Uh, let's see. So I think we don't need any medium tanks because these are actually, these Roviets 
Wisdom Mark of the 2As are going to be our medium tanks, even though they have less uh, uh, rounds. We just need to keep them well supplied. So, um, I mean, we might have some in case we truly go through all of our infantry. Uh, if that's the case, I, I am actually going to get these uh, at Elite. These are going to be our sniper because if I recall the Mark of the 2A, they're just hardened. Yep, yep. So these guys are going to be kind of our sniper tanks, even though they're heavily armored, uh, so they can definitely do front engagements. Uh, and then we need to follow up. We've got the Mag-6. Uh, no, no. Um, yeah, I think we are going to get... Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. I'm going to compare this to this. The Merc of a 1 is definitely better than the Max 6 by far. I mean, yeah, the Max 6 has a 15 AP power, but it will miss more often than the Merc of a 1. So we are going to get some Merc of a 1s, probably at Elite. And then we're going to get these guys at Elite, because a 50% uh, accuracy gun with 13 AP power with just 40 points and 10 front armor... Uh, yes, please sign me up on that. Uh, PT seven six B. Uh, no, don't quite think so. Uh, so this is kind of deceptive. I think we're actually going to live leave it at this. And it, it is a little bit this de 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 uh, deceptive because it shows that we have fewer tanks. But just remember, we have fourteen Merkava two A's. These are going to be hundred point tanks that could drop off infantry at the side as well so we've basically got 21 medium uh heavy medium or medium tanks we've got a super heavy a heavy we've got the heavy medium then we've got the medium tanks and we've got our lighter spamish tank which can still hit hopefully uh more often than not all right now we can actually just go to our recon tab and uh we could get that the safe fan only has four hp not a big fan of that we could get nun nuns because nun nuns is just always fun to say um and we're going to get we're going to need to have a spotter team this is a sniper squad uh yeah we are going to need quite a bit of those guys um uh, seven yeah yeah definitely seven and then we're going to get some in uh this is tough uh we can't actually yeah we're going to get some that are also amphibious so we've got uh because hang on the bardeas and the zelda one has two front armor and the bardeas is actually faster so screw that we're just going to get two bardeas so we have plenty of five-man sniper recon squad. We are going to get the HVMS. These things do rule. They take out APCs very fast. And they're also amphibious, so they can get around. Um, not a fan of the safe fans. Uh, we might come back. Let's see what the rest of our deck turns into. All right, so we can get the para, or the pre, however... It's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, compared to the high fizz, um, it has more accuracy than it. Uh, that is certainly interesting. The para is pretty damn expensive, though. It has a little bit of armor. Um, and we're going to get the para just because it looks like a tank, which we can add to our armored deck. Uh, I might take Germans for shits and giggles, but that has yet to be decided. Helicopters. Tesfa Bs. Uh, yes, definitely going to get the Tesfa Bs because these are heavy infantry killers, which we're going to need in order to defend our poor tanks. And we are going to get some map. Map hats. Um, 
we are going to get them hardened so that's not what I want. I want the map hats. We are going to get two hardened. Those go together nicely with our pere. Uh, so we have plenty of ATGM support uh, that in case our heavy lineup of tanks doesn't do well. Helicopters, is, I mean, uh, airplanes is what we need to do. Now we could get Kernes 2000s. But this is an armored deck. If we're going to need seed, we are kind of playing this wrong. Uh, let's look. Uh, ooh. Uh, let's see. Electric optic missile. Uh, we're going to need to Kernas. Those can wipe out an area pretty well. 7 AP cluster bomb. Oh, Brock 2s. Oh, if only you didn't suffer the problem that the Yak 141 suffers. They only have two Pythons, two Derbies, and 50-50% um, chance, basically, of not being able to kill an airplane be with high ECM. So, uh, we, I think we want to get the Maz, Maz the Baz Maz Spurs, but these guys are going to come in at Rookie. Um... I'm going to get both. Why not? And let's see. So we do 55 out of 80. Uh, okay. Um, we can drop a big ass bomb compared to dropping 2HE. So if it could be basically precision or one big bomb. I think we're going to stick with the current F. Uh, napalm? Oh, dang, those napalm bombs are huge. Uh, okay, uh, most useless fighter ever? Two missiles. This is not going to shoot down anything. I mean, you literally have to spam to kill stuff. Uh, cluster munitions. Do we need cluster? Do we really need cluster? Uh, why the hell not? Oh, jeez. Cluster or napalm? Cluster or napalm? Uh, napalm will take care of infantry, but cluster will take care of anything. You know what, this is an armored deck. Our biggest fear is the infantry. So I am actually going to get, yeah, the napalm. So we're going to get that there, put the napalm there, and we can get one more point. Let's see if we want to move anything around. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I have an idea. So we're going to get that, and then we have two extra points to spend somewhere else. Yes, I, yeah, this is perfect. So we can get uh, 18 veteran uh, of these guys, and then we can get cheap ass Shermans for just basic fire support. And uh, missile interception. Basically, these are going to be these are going to be our spam. These are going to be our light. These are our light tanks, and these are our super light tanks. But I mean, like 15 points for a 45% accuracy. Uh, it is heat, but the three uh, HE power. This is definitely very cheap infantry fire, uh, anti-infantry fire support. That is for sure. All right, Navy tab, we're just going to do the usual here. Tram Intruder, Tomcats, Super Hornets, F-111G, and Edendard. And perfect. Okay, so this is our... Israel armor deck. It is certainly interesting. 
Uh, but I am actually itching to try this out. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this deck. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe down below if you have any other decks you want me to try. Also put that in down below as well. And I will see you all in the next episode where we get to play this deck. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing you all there. Catch you all later.